My lords, I'm sure the noble lord the minister will recall that an Iranian woman, Najiz Mohammadi, received the Nobel Peace Prize last year for efforts to fight for democracy and human rights in Iran. There's been a huge, brave effort on the part of many people in Iran, particularly women, to resist the misogynist, autocratic, theocratic regime. Acknowledging that, will the government seek to refer to the Iranian regime uh, or the Iranian government rather than just the word Iran, acknowledging the difference between the Iranian people and the Iranian government or regime um, when speaking against its vicious attack on Israel and indeed on other actions. And secondly, the statement makes no reference to the Israeli attack on the Iranian embassy in Syria. I think that's unfortunate. Um, can the noble lord, the minister, reassure me that the government is stressing to Israel the need to, to uh, avoid escalatory actions given the perilous current state of the region? My lord, there wasn't actually an attack on the Iranian uh, embassy um, in, in Syria. Uh, I'm not sure whether that embassy is the embassy of the Iranian uh, government or the Iranian people. Uh, but, my lords, the people who um, uh, were caught in uh, Syria, in whatever way we like to describe it, were involved uh, actively in warlike activities uh, against the State of Israel and were encouraging terrorism. My lords, I do, however, agree with what uh, the noble baron has said about the courage and heroism of uh, people uh, in Iran, and particularly um, many Iranian women. Uh, one's heart stirs when one sees the enormous courage uh, of those people. Um, and I'm often struck by um, how little opportunity we are given to see um, Iranian women when we see the serried ranks of the IGRC and others uh, saluting the members of the Iranian regime who have been responsible for these deplorable events in the last few days.